This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Bahamas. I'm Kelsey Johnson. Welcome to Sports Sunday. The Bioco Jets will be watching tonight's Super Bowl game with a smile on their faces. That's because they won the prestigious Boil Fish Bowl title yesterday in the Commonwealth American Football League. The Jets beat the pros 38 to 33. From the beginning of the season, we're telling guys about it's, it's about being poised, it's about holding your composure, it's about playing world class football and knowing how to play the game. Um, we, we, like you said, we, we from the from the day from day one, we, we put in the institution. Listen here, you got to play the game the right way, and today it paid off. It paid off tremendously. And my coaching staff, they did an excellent job. We were prepared from, like I say, from three four weeks ago. We just been putting in the work, and it paid off the day. We are my def defensive coach Eddie Campbell scouted these guys. We put a package together. My offensive coach um, Travis Thompson. We, we scouted the defense and he put together an awesome package and this is the end result. The pros had a sluggish second quarter but came back storming in the last. According to head coach Michael Forster, that run was a little too late. It was a remarkable comeback, but it just was, fell short, you know. Um, I congratulate them for doing what they did in, in, a, in two days of practice, you know. Uh, that situation with not having the two weeks preparation really, I believe, really hurt us big time. Uh, but, you know, like I said, um, um, they, they kept their pride together and they kept, you know, um, they kept focused on the game and they, they stayed in it. Uh, boy, that second quarter was a killer. You know, that second quarter was a killer. Um, you know, we, we, we got to learn to manage ourselves better. We came in golfer Georgia at Roll will tee off tomorrow in hopes of qualifying for the main draw in the LPGA Pure Silk Bahamas Classic. The event will take place at the one and only Ocean Golf Club. I've been hitting the ball well. Um, I just I was I was working on well what's probably like the most important part of the game, um, putting, uh, um, 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 and so that's been getting a lot more sharp in the past few days, and so I'm looking forward to good things. The Ellen Coakley Track and Field Sandals Invitational Meet wrapped up yesterday. Our Julian Gibson was trackside and followed this report. Kelsey from the Ellen Coakley Sandals Track and Field Invitational. Let's take a look at the 400 meters under 13 girls for Raquel and Bristol from Georgetown Primary School. She won with a time of 1 minute 13.49 seconds. It's easy to run it. Look like you ain't no competition. You ain't had no competition at all. No, sir. How oh, are you training and uh, work at uh, running? Every day I train with Coach Woodery. Limitless. Limitless athletics. Under 13 boys, 400 meters, Elkin Johnson from St. Andrews, all age school in Exuma. He won the fall, 1 minute 11.87 seconds. When I... I was on the straightaway, I blow it, but I just keep on moving my hands to the finish. You look like you was fading coming down the stretch where you could say uh, the young man catching you? Uh, no, sir. You know, you had this one in the bag. Yes, sir. How fast can you really run if you train and work hard? Uh, I'm not sure, but I'll see. Do you train hard? Yes, sir. Let's take a look at under 14 girls, 400 meters. Rakendra Moxie, she's the daughter of Ricky Moxie, so you know she can rule. She represents the Ricky Moxie Track Club. She won the 400 meters in a time of 1 minute, 09.28 seconds. The race was good. You know, I had good competition. And I just want to look forward to doing it again someday. How hard do you train and work out? I work hard because I want to be something good for my family. Under 14 boys, 400 meters, the Miko Roach. No relation to our Opal Roach. He can run, Opal can't. The Miko from Ellen Coakley, he won the 400 meters. Now let's check out the under 16 girls, 400 meters. Chelsea McKenzie from Ellen Coakley. She won the four, one minute, 0 .08, 0 .56 seconds. Under 16 boys, 400 meters, Edward Gale from High Performance. He won the four, 59.88 seconds. Reporting for ZNS Total Sports, I am Julian Gibson. Thanks so much, Julian. That's a wrap on sports. Once again, I'm Kelsey Johnson. Stay tuned and check on weather is next. This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center.